Hey, what's going on everyone? Don here and you are watching VR Gamer Dude or today should I say AR Gamer Dude because we're going to be testing out the Inreal Air Glasses. That's right. So I can't thank Inreal enough for sending a pair of these out to the studio for me to review for you guys. So today I'm going to go ahead and get them all set up and then we're going to put them through their paces and I'll let you know what my thoughts are. Let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the glasses themselves and a couple of the accessories that come with them. Now, I'm not gonna be doing an unboxing on this. There's not really much in the box to take out anyway. It does come with a couple of different size nose pads, a cleaning cloth, a detachable cable, and a really cool hard case. So we'll start with that. I love the fact that InReal included this. Now, I'm the kind of nervous person that yeah, this is, you know, these are $379 a pair. So not something I'm gonna just feel comfortable slipping in my pocket uh, you know I mean for fear that it's gonna get scratched or the arms gonna break or you know something's gonna go wrong that way so super cool that in real included this this is definitely a nice little hard case that is going to protect your glasses now in the hard case you do also have an extra little flap here where you can carry your detachable cord the extra nose pieces the cleaning cloth you know so you can carry all your accessories with you as well all right, so the glasses themselves, uh, the only other accessory here, like I mentioned, is there is a light blocker, and uh, I do love the fact that they included the light blocker. Uh, for a couple of different reasons. Uh, first and foremost, when you put the light blocker on, it definitely makes it a more of almost a older VR experience with a little bit of a lower field of view. So with the light blocker on, it's actually going to really be good for like watching video, uh, you know, where you don't want light coming through the front of the glasses if you really want to just focus on that screen or if you just want privacy because, well, you can actually see some of what is being shown from the front of the glasses. So, I mean, obviously, if you're looking at something that you don't want other people to be able to see, you put the light blocker on. So, um, the glasses themselves, I mean, they, they are really nice and lightweight compared to the, say, in real light. Uh, I do have the in real light as well, and I can tell you these are twice the weight of the in real air, uh, or at least perceivably to me. I mean, they're super heavy compared to this. Now, obviously, these have a lot more tech involved. These are the full six degrees of freedom. These are true AR glasses, uh, where these are more of a personal viewer. Uh, they, they do have the ability to do some light light AR experiences, but they, you know, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, these are really meant more for web surfing and video watching. Um, now, I do also love the fact that they are much more fashionable than the old in real lights. I mean, obviously you can see they, they look kind of like a, a pair of oversized Ray-Bans. In fact, here are my Ray-Ban stories for comparison. And uh, the biggest difference, obviously they are a little bit larger and uh, a little bit thicker because they do have to house a, a lot more tech in them than say, you know, the Ray-Ban stories, even though those do have cameras as well. Uh, this has got to house the screens. So um, the glasses also now have the ability to uh, move the hinge into three different positions. And that that's really, really nice, like, you know, to get that screen just right in front of your face. It also is really good if you are like me and wear glasses. So you can see these actually go over my glasses nicely now, um, and it's not even uncomfortable. Uh, and I don't have to worry about getting the, you know, the glasses normally on the in real light. I'd have to like move them and position them. Now I can just position these hinges to where it fits better and I can see better in them. So that's a little bit about all that. I'm sure you guys at this point in the video are going, dude, that, that's great and all, but we really want to see what these things do. So let's go ahead and jump into the glasses and take a look at some of the functionality of the InReal Air. Okay, so here we are in the Nebula interface here and uh, you know, I got to say, it is a nicely laid out UI. Uh, it's kind of cool how it kind of wraps around me here in kind of a semicircle. Um, and, you know, I got to say, everything looks really nice and bright and clear in here. So, you know, you got basic features like your brightness and uh, volume. You've got your internet search. You also have your weather here, a little picture viewer. 
Um, and then, of course, your YouTube, uh, your TV app, your photos, uh, the space web here, which is your web browser. So all of the things that you're going to be able to do here in your in real air glasses. Now, you can see in mine, I do have a lot of apps installed. Unfortunately, those are not going to work. As you see, they've got the minus sign. And that's because these are all meant to work with my in real light glasses, which are the full AR experience. Now, as I said in the intro, you know, th these are really more meant for media consumption and internet browsing. So the things that you're going to really spend most of your time with here are going to be your TV app, your YouTube app, uh, your space web and your photo viewer. So we'll take a quick look at each of those. Okay, so let's take a quick look at SpaceWeb here. So SpaceWeb is our web browser for the Enreal Air glasses. And all in all, it's not a bad browser. It is pretty light. Uh, it uh, definitely wouldn't play Netflix. That was one thing that I was a little disappointed in. But it gets the job done if you just want to do some basic web surfing. Um, you have a couple of different view modes. You've got your surround mode, which we're in now, where you can have multiple web pages surrounding you. And then we also have the free mode here, where in free mode, we can take our page. It's just a single page, and we can make it bigger or smaller, and then we can put it in space where we want it. So pretty cool there. So, all right, let's go back and let's take a look at the... TV interface. You can see we've got a couple of different uh, categories here. We've got our live TV, our film, and our YouTube. And then you have this like really cool little way that you scroll through all of them here. Now, you know, you can see these are not like Netflix type movies. I mean, these are kind of some of your, you know, like offbeat movies, but still an enjoyable nonetheless. We've also got our live TV mode here. So in live TV mode, you've got Con TV, Bloody Disgusting, and Real Madrid, which looks like it's going to be some uh, football here. Uh, and you get a little preview there in the window of what's playing right now. Um, so, you know, pretty cool there. Um, that one's definitely, you know, one that I've been watching as the Con TV uh, has some interesting programs. Okay, and then you have your film mode here, which basically is just your con TV and your bloody disgusting again, but broken down into categories like your trends, horror, thrillers, dramas, action, adventure, and sci-fi. Now you can see here on con TV, not too much content. You're kind of seeing the same thing in each tab here. Uh, bloody disgusting. You, you definitely get a little bit more content from them. Uh, but once again, it's all kind of B-movie stuff, which honestly, I kind of love. I, I love the B-movie stuff. Sometimes it cracks me up. And then yeah, last but not least, you do have YouTube in here as well. Now, there is a, a YouTube app in the AR space that we will uh, take a look at in more depth. But you can access it right here from the TV. And you can see we've got our different categories here as well. So, all right, let's go back and take a look at the... YouTube app. So definitely a lot of ways you can watch YouTube. Obviously, you can watch it through Space Web, you can watch it through TV, or you can watch it through the dedicated YouTube app here. Basically, that is kind of just like Space Web. Uh, it, it is literally going to be the exact same thing. You've got your surround mode here where you can have multiple pages, or you have your free mode. I do prefer the free mode. That way I can kind of resize everything. And uh, you can see here's my channel. And the one thing I can say is the video is nice and clear. I, it really does look good. Uh, even, you know, at the 1080p resolution of the glasses here, it, it is fantastic looking. Um, so cannot complain about the YouTube app in any way, shape or form. Okay. Last but not least, we'll take a look at our photos app here. So mm -hmm. the photos app is actually pretty cool. Uh, basically it uh, aggregates all the different photos you have on your phone, uh, anything that you've done through Instagram feed, uh, your Twitter, you know, things that you've sent in messages, WhatsApp, uh, you know, your different recordings that you've taken here with the glasses and then allows you to kind of take those and, uh, put them wherever you want them here in space. And we can have multiple windows going at the same time here. So like, let's say I wanted to pull up my you know, photos there. And then I wanted to pull up my Instagram here. And then let's say I wanted to pull a specific photo out of Instagram. That's a really cool one. Actually looks really holographic in these glasses. Um, so, you know, very cool. You can completely surround yourself with all your photos, look at them, resize them. So love the photo app.
Okay, so again, that was just a little quick uh, glance at some of the things that you can do here in the Enreal Air glasses uh, from the Nebula UI. So let's uh, jump out. I'm going to try to stick my camera lens up in here and show you the phone mirroring. Okay, so outside of the AR space, we also have the ability to do air casting. And basically, air casting is just going to be the mirroring of our Android phone here in the, uh, in the glasses. So I got to say, I really love the fact that Unreal included this as an option, because as you saw in AR space, there were things that I could not do, especially in their web browser, things like Netflix. And, you know, I've, I've got other streaming services on here like Apple TV Plus. I've got Got, you know, uh, Paramount Plus, Pluto TV. So all of those basically give us the ability to watch you know, full screen entertainment uh, that, you know, is going to be a little bit better than what you're getting with the old, uh, the, the TV uh, interface uh, in the AR zone here. And you can see we can go full 16.9 on it. Uh, so very cool there. Uh, and, and I got to tell you, again, screen looks super bright, super clear. I, I mean, the, the, it would really blow your mind to see this in the glasses. I mean, you wouldn't think that you would be getting that sharp and good of an image, but it really does look great. So, all right, let's jump out of here. And, uh, you know, there, there are other things that you can do here in the phone mirroring. Obviously, you can play your favorite mobile game. Uh, you know, if you want to. But one of my favorite things to do with this is actually to use Samsung DeX. So DeX, if you're not familiar with it, literally gives you a, a almost like a desktop interface here. And uh, it literally, it, you know, now I have my cursor here. And, and once again, if I want to play games, if I want to watch any of the video apps, very, very easy to do that through DeX, uh, also surfing the web. So it really makes your Android phone just like a little mini computer. And, uh, you know, having the Unreal Air hooked to it makes it even better because now you're not hunched over looking at a tiny screen. It is literally a huge computer screen floating right in front of your face. So, all right, my arm's getting a little tired from holding these glasses into the perfect position. So you guys can see it through my camera lens. So I think we're going to jump out and uh, give you some final thoughts. All right, so there you have it. There is a little overview of the Unreal Air glasses. And, you know, I got to tell you, personally, I love these things. I, the, the image is sharp and crisp. I, I mean, the sound quality is not horrible. They're comfortable. It, these are definitely the coolest sunglasses I now own. And, you know, I guess the big question is, is should you own a pair of these? Well, you know, if you've got $379 burning a hole in your pocket and you're a prosumer, and you want the latest, greatest tech, or if you're a business traveler or you, you do long commutes every day, I couldn't recommend these enough. I mean, uh, yeah, I got to tell you, I've used my other ones, the Unreal Light on a plane, and, and it is awesome to have that big screen just hovering in midair, but not like VR where it's taking you out of the world so I can still see what's going on around me. You know, I don't have to worry about somebody hitting me over the head and stealing my glasses. So I do recommend these and I will put links for everything that you need in the description. Now, if you are looking for a true AR system, all right, if you want to do real augmented reality, I'm going to tell you these are not the droids you're looking for, all right? It, these do not have the ability to do true AR. They are a media consumption device. You're going to get web browsing, you're going to get phone screen mirroring, and you're going to be able to watch video on them. Uh, it's not going to allow you to walk around the room and look at holograms. If you want to do that, that's where you're going to want to grab the big brother of the Unreal Air, which is the Unreal Light. All right. And I do have some videos on my channel where I go over those. I've actually got a playlist set up. If you want to go, you can see me make an app. You can see me, you know, give my first impressions. I do have a couple of game tests on there where you can actually see some augmented reality gaming with the glasses. Uh, those, they're definitely a different beast. And, and I will leave links for both in the description so you can kind of compare and contrast and see which pair might be right for you. But other than that, 
that, guys, I think I'm out. I, you know, I don't really have anything else I want to say about these today other than I really like them and I think you would as well. But for me, that's going to do it today. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you made it this far, I, you know that means the world to me. And if this was your first time coming by the channel, guys, thank you so much for coming by to check out what I do here at VR AR Gamer, dude. Um, and if you don't mind on your way out the door, do me three solids. Hit that like button, ring the bell, and then subscribe uh, because that that really helps me out I'm super close to getting to 10,000 subscribers and I'd love to do that by the end of the year and each and every one of you that hits that subscribe button you are helping me out and I couldn't tell you how much I love you for that and of course if you've already done that guys thank you so much you are the backbone of this channel you, you helped me grow it from the beginning and you know here we are we're at the precipice I you know I can't wait to see what what magic happens once we hit 10,000. I've heard kind of cool things happen with the algorithm. So please help me get there. I'd love you forever. And uh, anyway, I think I'm going to go lay in bed and watch a movie. I'll catch you in the next one. This is Don signing off.